Okay guys, so there seems to be a lot of confusion when it comes to building dynamic websites and I suppose one of the reasons is probably because it seems quite complicated. I mean, you hear terms like advanced custom fields, custom post types, archive files, taxonomies, queries and even words like hierarchical. So it seems like a lot to process to be honest and this is probably why it looks so confusing in the end. So today I'm going to break this down in the simplest possible manner. So we're going to go through all the steps one by one and for this in total we are going to use five different plugins today. So these are all free plugins, free resources and with those five plugins you can build literally any dynamic website. So that means that you can take on literally any project that you can think of. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we start with a fresh WordPress installation and as you can see we don't have any plugins installed at the moment. Now you don't have to obviously but it's just to make it easier for us to follow all the steps one by one. So as you can see we have no plugins installed at the moment so let's take care of the first one. So the first one is called custom post types. Okay, so let's click add new. Right here you're going to look for CPT. So this stands for custom post type. So there it is. So this is the very first one here. So make sure it's the one from Web Dev Studios. Install now and then activate. So there you go. We have our very first plugin installed. And now let me show you what this one does. So as you can see by the side, we have CPT UI. So this is the one. If you click on this, you have all these different tabs. So the one we're interested in is the very first one, add or edit a post type. So we're going to create our first post type. OK, so the first screen here, as you can see, of three different lights. So this is what we need to take care of. We're going to fill this out and then I'm going to show you what the results are. OK, so you have the post type slug plural version and singular version as well. So the first term here is the slug. So what is a slug? Well, basically, if we go to the front end here, so this is the home page. If I click on sample page here, as you can see in the, the address bar, it says mrwebtutorials.com forward slash and then sample page. So this is the slug basically from that page. And it works the same way for categories or section of your website. If you want to break this down. So this is basically the slug that will be related to this type of post type that you're going to create. So let's say you want to build a website uh, for a car marketplace to, to sell second-hand cars or new cars or advertise cars, basically, okay? So what you would do is type in car here, okay, just like this, and then you give the plural and singular version of it. So the, in plural would be cars and then car in singular, okay? And now we're going to add our post type. And as you can see now, car has been successfully added. So where was it added? Well, by the side here, as you can see, we have an additional tab in the menu section that says cars, okay? And now we can see all the cars or add a new car. So that's basically what custom post types are. And now that we've created our car section here, we can now edit our post type. So let's go to edit post type. Now, if you scroll down, you will see there's a lot of different options. So here we have all the different labels. So basically here you can rename what it would be called. You know, if someone wants to add a new one, you could say instead of add new, you could say add new car, you know, so you can have this specifically designed uh, for this type of section. OK, now let's scroll down. We have all the uh, settings here underneath. Now, obviously, as you can see on screen, there are quite a few options. So we we're just going to touch up on the essential ones for now okay so if we scroll down the page here as you can see we can select the icon as well so at the moment next to our car we have a pin which is not really suitable for cars obviously we'd like to make this more personalized so we can choose a new icon so let's look for a car maybe there you go we have one here so we can uh, add this instead of the pin and right here we have our taxonomy. So this is quite a confusing term, to be honest. You know, I was confused about it myself in the beginning. So basically taxonomies is a way for WordPress to group similar type of items. So as you can see, you have categories and tags. So now we can create categories for the same item here for cars and we can create tags as well. So for instance, you could have SUV, MPV, convertible maybe limousine or whatever you know so this is how you can break down your content in different categories and you can have tags as well so let's enable those two and i'm going to show you the result right now okay so let's save the post again so as you can see by the side now our car has the new icon and if you hover on top we now have two additional tabs we have categories and tags as well so these work the same way as your blog post basically right here as you can see all posts add new categories and tags and now we have our custom post type which is called cars obviously you know and now we can click on this and this is where we can add our new car so let's click on add new 
and there you go all we have here is basically the title it's like a page basically you know so now we can add our different fields and this is when we need to install the second plugin which is called advanced custom fields so we go back to our wordpress dashboard we go to plugins add new and this time you're going to look for acf which stands for advanced custom fields so it's not the very first one is this one here by wp engine install now and then activate and now if you look by the side we have an additional tab called custom fields if you click on this now we can create our new field group so let's do this together so let's call this one car details okay so when it comes to car listing usually you need information such as the car manufacturers maybe the color of the car an image how many seats maybe the size of the engine and if it's diesel or petrol or something like this okay so let's go ahead with this so let's create our first one so as you can see you can select the type of field so you have text text area number range email url password image and so on and so on so there's quite a good bit of uh, choice here to, to choose from obviously you know so let's go ahead with the first one so the first thing you want to know is who's which manufacturer okay so this would be maybe a drop down menu so as you can see i have choice here so i've select checkbox uh, radio button button group and true or false so in our case here it would be probably select so check box basically you can take the boxes you know several boxes and radio button is only one at a time so all the five options you can only select one and check box all the five options you can select two three five or even just one okay so we're gonna uh, click on select here so this one is called uh, manufacturer the field name will be filled out automatically once you click out of this. Now you can change this manually if you want to, do, to call it differently, okay? And right here, we're gonna put the choices. As you can see, you need to type one per line and then put the semicolon in between. So it goes like this. So we start with Audi, semicolon, and then Audi, okay? We go to the second one. So we have BMW, all in lower cases, and then the other one, the way you want to display it in the front end, okay? And we do the same with the others. So basically something like this. I just added five here. So Audi, BMW, Mercedes, Porsche, and Volkswagen. So basically the first term is just same as your field name. This is going to be used in the database. So that's why it has to be all in lower cases. And the other term here is basically what will display in the front end, what your visitors will see, okay? And then we scroll down the page and we're going to close that field. That's it for this one. So let's add a new one. So the next one will be maybe the, the engine size. Okay, so this should be text. They should type it themselves. So we're gonna put engine size and the field name should be created automatically. So that's basically for that one. And now we can add a new field. So let's go with the color maybe this time. And as you can see, if you scroll down the page, you also have the option for color picker. There it is, okay. So we could use this for instance, okay. And we're gonna type here color field name will be selected and you can set the default value for instance fffff this is white or 0000, 0, 0, 0 would be black in a hex uh, string you know so close field now next add field let's add maybe the type of fuel it's using so it could be diesel maybe petrol or something like this you know in which case we could have maybe this time radio button so you can only select one out of many options so let's type fuel and we're gonna add our choices. So again, here we can uh, type the first one, which is for the database, and the second one is for what your visitors will see. So perhaps something like this, you know, three different options here with petrol, diesel, and EV as well, you know. So close field, and let's add one more perhaps, you know. So let's say the mileage perhaps, you know, this would be an important piece of information. And this time we can select number, okay? So let's type mileage here, and that's basically it. So close field, and now we can set up our rules so basically where do we want these to display so we want them to display in the car section here okay so right here we're going to select post type is equal to and instead of post we're going to select car okay so we can save those changes and now let's go to the cars here and let's create a new one okay so let's click add new and there you go as you can see now instead of having a traditional blog post we have a custom post type so we can put our title here we can select the car manufacturer the engine size the color with the color picker here very handy indeed and then you can select if it's fuel diesel electric and uh, insert the mileage and then obviously we can also insert our featured image 
And once we saved, we have our new car uploaded to the website. So as you can see, this looks exactly like a blog post. Now I'm going to show you another option here. So if you go back here and we go to custom post type and edit, we go to edit post type and then scroll down at the bottom of the page, straight at the bottom here. Okay. And right here you have editor. So if you untick this, basically, okay, it will revert back to the non Gutenberg editor. So if you go to cars now again, and let's create a new one. As you can see, the layout is totally different now. It's not as a block editor anymore. It's just basically the non Gutenberg editor now, the simple way, you know. So I personally prefer it this way. Now it's really up to you. Uh, you can keep it with Gutenberg or not, but I think it's much more easier to enter your data this way, you know. Now, the next logical step before we can create an actual item here, a new listing, is to create our categories as well and tags, obviously, you know. So for categories, we can create, for instance, SUV. We could have MPV and so maybe sedan, could have hatchback as well, and maybe convertible. That's it. So we have our categories here, and then we can create our tags as well. So what's the difference between categories and tags? Well, categories are the main sections and the tags are basically small keywords that will help your visitors find exactly what they're looking for. So this could be accessories or maybe perhaps something like metallic paint or air conditioning or something like this, you know, so something that people could be looking for that you don't actually include in the specs of your vehicle. So as you can see at the moment, we have all cars. If we create a new one here, uh, we have all these specs here, including fuel, color, engine size, and all that. Whatever you don't include here could be added as a tag to help your customers find exactly what they're looking for, basically, okay? So there you go, perhaps something like this, you know, roof rack, hitch bar, air conditioning, and metallic paint. And now that we have these created categories and tags, now we can create our new listing. So we go here, so we have a draft file, so we can edit this one instead. So let's go ahead, like we said, we might create a new car, so let's say a Mercedes uh, C220D, okay? So the manufacturer here clearly is Mercedes. Engine side, let's say 1.6 liter. We're gonna select the color, so let's say this one is white. This car would be diesel. The mileage, let's say this one has 120,000 on the clock. So clearly this is a sedan, let's say, okay? And then we can select our tags as well. So let's say metallic paint, right? And now we can upload our image. So I found one here online, select. There it is now, okay, open. And then set featured image. Very good, so now we can publish. And if you go back to cars, there it is now, we have a Mark D220D and our new listing is created. Now let's have a quick preview. So if we can click on view, let's open this in a new tab. And there it is, as you can see, we have the image and the title and that's basically it so where's the rest of the information well basically it's not going to display immediately like this now we, what we have to create basically is to create a template to display the content of these listings here that we created okay so for this we are going to install a, an additional plugin again and for this we are going to use a page builder so in our case we're going to use elementor which is the most popular one and at the same time we're going to install a theme as well so we go to appearance themes add new and we're going to select hello right here okay so this is from elementor themselves so the the thing with that is that it will install the theme and also elementor all at once okay so what we do now is to click install activate very good and as you can see it's asking us to install elementor now so let's proceed with that so install elementor and now activate plugin so we can close this now. Very good. So now we are ready to design the template for our cars. So for this, we go to Elementor, as you can see, have templates, and we go to Theme Builder. And there you go, as you can see, this is part of the pro version. So I'm going to give you a solution here, a free solution to avoid having to pay the pro version. So the pro version is 49 US dollars. Forget about this. You can cancel this, and we're going to install another plugin instead. So let's go to Plugins, Add New, and right here in the search box looks for X Pro. Very good. So we have those two here on top. So we're going to install both of them. Okay. So install this one and install that one. So this is basically the main widget. And this one will offer us the theme builder for Elementor, but free, obviously, you know. Now we need to activate those two. So we go back to install plugins, take those two, bulk action, activate, and then apply. 
there you go and now we are ready to build our template so this time instead of going to templates we go to expo add-ons and as you can see right here we have the theme builder so that's the exact same feature as we have here except that this one again is free okay so let's click on this so let's click on add new so let's call this one car listing okay so what type of template is this well this is going to be a singular page display on we're going to select here as you can see have singular pages all posts all pages this one is going to be all cars specifically because this is the section that we want to use it for okay and it's going to be for all users and then we can publish now and now that we've taken care of our options now we can edit this with elementor so let's click on this and now we can design our actual landing page for every car for every listing okay so let's start designing our page so let's click on this let's add a structure so we could have the image on one side perhaps and all the details on the other you know but again feel free to design that the way you want it's just to show you how it works here obviously you know so if you go back here we're going to grab the heading so as you can see with expo add-ons have all these different widgets as well or you can use the ones that come with element obviously you know so if we grab the heading here drag and drop so we're going to use this for our title so if we click on dynamic tags as you can see again this is part of the pro version of elementor but don't worry i have a free solution for us again so now we go back to the wordpress dashboard install an additional plugin and this time we're going to install master add-ons so this one here okay and what we are interested in mainly is one feature only, which is the display tag. So we'll be able to display all these tags right here for free again. Okay, so install now and then activate. Very good. We can skip this all together. And now let's go back to our Elementor page. So let's save our page for now. And let's refresh to load the new master add-on feature. So let's click on our heading again, dynamic tag. And as you can see, now we can access all the dynamic tags for free isn't that fantastic so if you scroll down the page as you can see this is our post all the elements post fields etc you know that we can use so this is the title so we're going to use the post title there you go as you can see we'll say car listing and let's tweak this a little bit a bit of a styling so let's change the font color maybe black there you go and now we can add all the different elements on the side here so which are these again as a fresh reminder we have the manufacturer's name the engine size the color the fuel type and the mileage and we could also add the category if you wanted to okay so let's go ahead with this so again we scroll down the page and this time i'm going to fetch the text editor drag and drop okay and instead of this content here again we're going to use the dynamic tag scroll down the page and this one will be a custom field so now we need to find the name of that field okay so we go back here now we go to custom fields reopen this section and now we have all the different names so these are the ones that we need if you hover on top as you can see you can simply click on it to copy okay so the first one is called manufacture so paste it here and then in the advanced section you put something before so, you know so you could have many maybe manu manufacturer just like this okay but now as you can see we don't have any direct feedback it's not displaying the field so just to be on the safe side you can update and then you go back to all the, the car listed here you know mercedes that's the one we created if you go on views right click open in a new tab and there you go as you can see we have mercedes c220d and manufacturer mercedes so this is clearly working you know so don't worry if it's not displaying right here in elementor this is fine just make sure it is displaying properly properly in the front end okay so let's carry on with this so let's add our image here so now we're going to select image drag and drop so again this is a dynamic tag so we're going to select this featured image and you can change the size accordingly as well you know so let's keep large that's fine and again as you can see it is not displaying but if you go back to the front end and let's refresh and there you go now we have the title here the mercedes and the details by the side and then we can do the same with the other elements obviously as well you know so what do we have next we have the engine size again we can copy this and we're going to just duplicate this one that we have already so right click duplicate sorry here okay now if you click on this we can edit this one and we're going to remove manufacture that field engine size and instead of man manufacture here we're going to put engine size so this way we save time as well and then we can do the same with the others so right click duplicate let's go and fetch the title here so this one is called color okay let's insert it here okay 
So instead of engine size, now it's going to be color. Advanced, select this and then color again. So there you go, I added all the other fields right here. Okay, so let's have a quick look now if we refresh. And there you go, as you can see, of the manufacturer, engine size, fuel type, and mileage. So this is basically how this works. Obviously, you have to put a lot more effort into designing this properly, but I'm just showing you the ropes here and basically how you can achieve uh, such results, obviously, you know. Okay, so now what I've done is I've created a header and a footer section as well, just to give you a better feel of the website. So this is basically what you can do as well, you know. So there you go. That looks more like a website now, as you can see of the logo, a menu section, a call to action button and then our footer section as well you know so now let me show you how you can create your home page insert your listing on that page as well and then if you click on view more i'm going to show you how you can create a listing page where all the cars will be listed and then you can click on each one of them and have obviously the detail page which is this one already okay so let's go ahead with this so let's go back to our wordpress dashboard and from here we're going to create a new page so let's click on pages add new and this is going to be our home page. So publish, publish, and then edit with Elementor. Okay, very good. So normally on your home page, straight underneath your header, you would have a hero section with your big uh, heading and subheading to tell people what you do. So I'm going to do that very quickly now. Okay, so perhaps something like this, you know, with your premises here and all the cars at the front and then explore our second hand cars. This is your main heading and maybe a subheading. Okay, so if you scroll down, now we can add our cars underneath a dynamic listing, obviously. You know? So I'll click on plus, we have a full uh, section here. And now we're going to add, this is called a grid, okay? So this is a post grid, basically. And again, this comes with XPro, and this is free. Normally, you had to pay for this with Elementor, you know? So drag and drop it here. And now we can customize this. As you can see, it's fetching up a post, which is at the moment a blog post. But we're going to change this now to an actual post, which is our custom post type, the cars, basically, okay? So how can we change this? Well, very easily. As you can see, have all our different settings here. Now we close that tab and we go to query. And now we can set this up here. As you can see, if you open this, this is post. So these are all the blog posts. You can fetch pages. You can fetch medias. But here, as you can see, we have cars as well. So this is the one we need. So if we click on this, there you go. Our car is now showing. Obviously, we have only one car at the moment in our listing. So if you go back to cars, as you can see, there's only one. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create maybe 10 or 12 of them very quickly to show you the next step. So there you go, guys. You can see we have 13 items in total now. So a bit of everything. And now if we go back to our Elementor page, we have three of them being shown here immediately. So these are basically the last one I uploaded. So three Porsche. So now we can tweak this around, obviously. So as you can see, you have the amount of columns. So we can change this maybe to four. And let's say if you wanted to display 12 in total, now we have to go to the next step here. We have the query and as you can see per page. So in total, 12 and four columns. Okay, so there you go. This is how you can display all your cars immediately on your homepage or a selected amount anyways. Okay, so if you click update, now we can have a quick look at this page on in the front end. So if you click on this, and there you go, guys. You can see a beautiful hero section and underneath all our different cars being listed immediately there. And that looks absolutely professional already. So this is basically how you can design your homepage and bring in your content dynamically. Now, usually on these types of websites, you have a search bar here on top. So we're going to add this here as well. And we're going to create a, a search result page as well to display all the cars dynamically. OK, so let's take care of this now. So we go back to our WordPress dashboard. And this time we go back to Xpro add-ons and then theme builder. And this time we're going to create a new page. And this one will be our search result page. OK, so let's click add new. I'm going to call this one search results. So this time, this one is going to be an archive. So what's the difference between archive and singular? Well, archive will display more than one item based, for instance, on the search term. OK, and singular would display only one. So if you were to look for Audi cars, you would only display the first one in the search results. So archive page is the one we need to create now. So display on. And again, here, this is going to be a special page. This is the search page. So basically, this will drive directly all the results to that page and we're going to select the user role and again this is for everyone okay so publish and now edit with elementor so we're going to add our section so a full section here we're going to click on all the widget we're going to look for a grid so pause grid again drag and drop 
So we're going to display maybe three columns. That'll be fine. And again, we're going to select the settings here. So we go to query and in the source here, instead of cars, like we usually select, this time we're going to select dynamic. So that's very important. OK, now click update. So that's it for our landing page. So the only setting you can uh, choose here is basically how many columns you want to display. So maybe three uh, cars across. OK, so that's basically it. And now let's add the search feature in our header section. OK, so for this, we go back to WordPress dashboard, XP add-ons, theme builder again. And this time we're going to select the header that we created earlier on. OK, so edit with Elementor. So instead of the menu section here, we might want to delete this all together, you know, so delete that. And now we're going to look for search. And this is the one here. So XP Pro X Pro again. OK, so there you go. Something like this, you know, and now we can select the layout as well. So have classic or minimal and you have creative as well. So again, it's a matter of preferences, you know, so let's go with the classic one for now. And then you need to assign the source as well. So which uh, type of post will it query? So basically here it will be cars again. And that's it. That's it now. So we click update and we go back to our home page and refresh. Now we can run a test. OK, so let's type Audi, for instance, then enter. And there you go. All it will return is all the cars, as you can see. Now, let's try just Q7, for instance, Q7. And there you go. We have only one car, obviously. Now, if I type BMW, we only have BMWs, you know. So that's basically how you can create your search feature and also have a search result page built in dynamically. Very good. And now that we've installed our search feature, we can also link this in our footer section. So, for instance, we could narrow down for Audi only, BMW, Mercedes, and return only searches based on those keywords. So, as you can see in the address bar here, how does this, how does this work? Well, basically, you have your domain name, forward slash, and then question mark s equals and there's the keyword so it could be bmw audi or whatever and post type equals car so if we use this now Control c and we go back here and edit for instance our footer section so edit with elementor and now we can edit this partially you know so audi so let's select this open it we're going to put our link and this time instead of bmw we're going to replace this with the audi keyword okay audi we do the same with bmw so that's already BMW. We go ahead with Mercedes, Porsche, and Volkswagen. And then update. And then let's go back to our home page. Let's refresh. There you go. And if we click on any of them, so let's say Mercedes. That's all we're going to have. Porsche, Audi, and so on. So that's basically how the search feature works and how you can link them all and have dynamic listing displaying only those specific categories. OK, now let me show you how we can turn this into a marketplace so to allow your visitors to upload cars as well. So we're going to change this button here instead of request a quote, maybe upload listing, upload new listing or something like this. OK, so now we go back to our WordPress dashboard and we're going to install a new plugin. So we go to plugins, add new. And this one is called WP users. Just like that. OK, so that's the one here. So install, activate. Very good. So we can cancel this back here so we can dismiss all these messages very good and now by the side as you can see you have an additional tab and here we can create different forms so basically this is a form that will allow your visitors to upload a new listing okay so post forms and we're going to add a new one so we're going to start with the blank form all together okay so create form and here we're going to drag and drop all the different fields exactly the same way we have it in the front end. So if we go back to our listing here, click on this one, for instance, what do we have? We have a title, featured image, manufacturer, engine size, fuel type and mileage. OK, and this one is most likely a drop down menu as well. So let's create this together. OK, so we go back here. So first one is our post title, featured image. And then we have the manufacturer. So we're going to select for this is going to be a drop down menu. OK, there you go and click on the small pencil here. So the meta key here, very important. We need to select them as well. So if you go back here, we go to custom fields, field group and make sure that the exact same uh, uh, name as we have here. So we're going to select manufacturer. Go back here. Meta key replace this with that. We need to put a, a field name here. So manufacturer with a capital letters. And now we need to take this one, show value. So we're going to put the name. So that's the label and the value as well. Exactly the same way we created them here. So we have uh, manufacturer. We need to edit this. 
and as you can see these are our different values so we need to enter them exactly the same way they are here okay so let's create this together so the first one was Audi and as you can see the value is the same as we have it here you know and then we have BMW so let's add another one and this is automatically done for us here next one is Mercedes Porsche and finally Volkswagen so that's basically it for our manufacturer and now we have the other fields here so engine size fuel type and mileage so let's add them together here so add field this one this is text okay take out click on the small pencil again so let's fetch the id so we go back to field groups car details this one is engine size there you go and let's do the same with the others so there you go i've created those as well so just make sure that the meta key is correct here okay and then we go to settings so where do you want to create this again in the car section and then you have post status as well so as you can see at the moment you've published you can publish immediately but you can have it pending as well if you want to review it before it goes live you know that's that's basically it you know we can click save now and let's put this to the test so if you go to back to post forms we're going to select the short code here so Control c and now we will create a new page and insert that short code in it okay so we go pages add new so this one is new listing and right here look for short code there it is and now you can paste it here okay so publish publish and now copy the page url here so copy this and now we're going to link this to our call to action button okay so now we go back here we go to expro add-ons theme builder so there you go here is our main header so edit with elementor now click on the button itself and we're going to replace the hashtag here with the url we just copied so paste it here update and now let's go to the front end and let's refresh okay so let's try this now upload new car so there you go so let's try this now so let's call this one test upload an image see this one here okay so manufacturer let's say this one is porsche the engine size maybe 3.2 liters i don't know uh, select uh, the type it could be petrol and the mileage let's say 95,000. okay so let's click submit and there you go as you can see our listing is showing up immediately and now if we wanted to go to our home page all we have to do is go back there and there it is if we scroll down the page as you can see this is the new car that we just uploaded